Hey there, and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to create an Airtable front end with some examples. This way you have your data presented in a way that's not just functional, but also appealing. So there are five main reasons why you should consider creating a front end in Airtable. Number one is definitely visualization. While Airtable is fantastic for managing data, it can lack visual appeal. And we're talking about more than just rows and columns. Imagine adding colors, interactive elements, and a user-friendly design to your data. Number two is definitely security. A front end acts as a gatekeeper controlling external access and ensuring only authorized individuals can interact with specific parts of your data. Permission-based access is really important as well. You know, tailoring data visibility based on user roles is so crucial, and this can be complex to implement in Airtable alone, but a front end provides a more streamlined solution. Sometimes you also want to keep certain data in the background. A front end allows you to present only what's necessary, maintaining focused and compartmentalizing information. And last but not least, there's Airtable's UI potential, which is it's pretty minimal. Uh, it's a powerhouse in the back end, but its true potential shines when it's paired with a front end solution. It's not just about overcoming limitation, it's about leveraging Airtable's power as a back end using no code or low code nature to share with stakeholders, creating integrations with other tools, and setting up automations. So we're, next, we're going to talk about the four approaches to bring your Airtable data to life with a front end. Number one is software which is a user-friendly no-code tool. Of course, our topic is going to be software, a no-code platform that's designed explicitly for creating with the Airtable UI. There are 100 pre-built blocks, and you can customize every element without any technical skills. Software is the go-to choice for a user-friendly solution. Some pros include the fact that it's no-code, there are stunning custom interfaces, it has very affordable pricing, and the integration with memberships and payments is really nice. Now, some cons are pretty much just that it's another tool to add to your stack. And it's pretty minimal from a con standpoint. And if you want to learn more about software, you can check out our website where we have tons of documentation and also check out our videos where we go in depth into software's functionality. Number two is going to be Airtable's interface designer. Airtable offers its own interface designer, which is a native option within the platform. Optimized for collaboration, it ensures a consistent Airtable UI, but might lack advanced capabilities in design and customization. Some pros is that you can stay within Airtable and it's consistent with that UI. However, it does have limited advanced capabilities, minimal design, customization, and mostly, it's just for collaboration purposes. Number three, we can talk about Airtable extensions. And you can explore the Airtable marketplace for extensions that can enhance your Airtable experience. While these can be useful, they might not fully replace a dedicated front end. And some of the pros here are that it stays within the Airtable ecosystem and some extensions address specific needs. However, it is really costly for the add-ons themselves. And because collaborators are going to need access to the base data, it's another thing to pay for and limited advanced roles and permissions really make this hard to manage. Number four, for those of you that got deep pockets, uh, doing an in-house solution might make the most sense. Literally coding the entire solution in-house is possible, and the pro would be that it's a fully custom solution, exactly what you want. However, it's gonna cost you a lot of money to build and maintain, and not to mention, it'll probably take a lot of time. Yeah, I, I could imagine an entire front-end solution being difficult to manage and create. Now, some examples of applications, you know, if you are curious about what can be the possibilities for front ends for your business, we've created a list of some of these examples. Number one being client portals. These are web apps where information for your client can be stored. This way you provide a more professional service and communicate and collaborate with your clients securely. Number two is a CRM. A custom client CRM helps you organize and streamline customer related processes from tracking leads to managing your sales pipeline and is so helpful for the entire process. We have templates for these as well. Dashboards and reporting are a great visual way to get real-time insights and information about your business and operations. It can be leveraged as data-driven decision-making tools. We also have a lot of templates for these. And for internal tools, we can create directories, wikis, and all sorts of tools that your team needs to perform at maximum capacity. As someone who knows how hard it is to manage a team, I can tell you these are so helpful. Number five is community hubs. You can create member only websites using membership functionalities and premium content to share resources and nurture the relationship with your audience. Shout out to Softer's templates 
which can help you out a lot with this and make the payment process connection, all that stuff really easy. And in conclusion, are you, know, are you ready to take your Airtable experience to the next level? You have multiple options you can explore to power your Airtable bases and create immense value for your business. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more insights into software. Share this video with anyone you think needs to elevate their data presentation game. And that being said, thanks for watching. Drop a question or comment down below and we'll see you in the next one.